guys today was how you tell the difference between a male Dungeness crab and a female Dungeness crab. Everybody's always asking me. Alright, here's two crabs right here. We got a big one and we got a small one. The females are generally on the smaller side. Not to say that all the small ones are females. apron. It's actually her reproductive organs. So see how wide that is? It's wide on the female, but she also has a lot smaller legs right here. And then her shell is actually kind of rounded, which you may or may not be able to tell, but it is. And this one is kind of a dirty looking shell. Once you've been working with crabs for a while, you get an eye on what looks clean, what looks dirty. Anyways, this looks dirty, so she's getting ready to molt. They molt about once a year, so they take off this shell, and there's a whole new shell underneath, and they kind of, this opens up, their apron opens up, and they will kind of, I gotta watch out for her pinchers, they'll back out of the shell, and they'll take all the meat with them, in which case, I'm getting ahead of myself here, we were going back to the male crab, but then I'm gonna show you the soft shell crab, because we have one of those too. So this is a female, she is illegal to catch. I just have her for educational purposes here and then I'll throw her back in the sea and she'll say, where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? I gotta find my people, right? Let's just do that right now. Okay, goodbye female. And she's in the water, all right. Now, here's a male crab. In Alaska, they have to be six and a half inches from, you don't count these spikes right here. So it's from the inner point of the spike to the other inner point of under the spike here. This is a six and a half inch crab measure. So from here to here, it has to be bigger than six and a half inches. Let's see. Here to here. Check that out. Here to here. So he's, I would say at least almost an inch bigger. So this is a seven and a half inch crab. At about seven inches across, they're definitely a two pound crab. I would say this is like a two and a half pound crab. At least, he's a keeper. He also has a dirty shell too. Check at that dirt right there. He's getting ready to molt. Now I'll have to show you a good crab when we have a good crab, or maybe I can loop one in here so you can see the difference. It's right here. Did that work? Maybe. We catch any more. See how his shell isn't as rounded as the females? I gotta watch this pincher. So you usually pick him up right here, and this is his apron, and it's very straight and thin. So the female has a really thick apron, and this is his apron, otherwise known as his gonads. Funny story. I was watching these Dungeness crab fishermen or scientists or whatever they were and they were like, oh, if there's a feisty crab, all you have to do is put him on its shell and rub his belly. You just rub his belly and then he gets really calm. Well, I got news for that lady. This is not his belly. It looks like his belly, but we already talked about what it is. It's kind of the gonad private area right there. So he may be calm, but it's not because you're rubbing his belly, all right? I think we're all a little calm when someone rubs our belly. You know what I mean. Anyways, here we are. Dungeness crab, a dirty one. He's getting ready to molt. I'm going to throw this one. Well, I'll have, I'll have him around so you can see the difference. Now, the last crab I'm going to show you is the soft shell crab. Can you see the difference? They're usually really white. So this guy, he's legal, I'm guessing. Check it out. Six and a half inches under the spike. So he's just about the same size as the other crab. Check out the difference in his shell. Now they're both on the darker side, but this shell looks new right over here. And this one looks old. They shed them every year and a lot of times the older shells will be full of barnacles and these guys will uh, you know shed their shell so if they had any 
any barnacles on them, which actually he has. No, he's all right. But um, you can definitely see the difference right here. So these are both seven inch crabs. And this one actually weighs a lot more than this one because what happens when he backs, when he opens up his apron and he backs out of his shell, so he's gonna leave the whole carcass, the whole shell, the carapace as you call it, behind. And they'll take even the meat inside of these legs and I don't know how the heck they do it, but they'll also take the meat from their claws with them. They take everything, it's nuts. So you can, if you see what looks like to be a dead crab on the beach, it might just be their shell. So you, you wanna look at it and see if there's actually any meat inside of it. Because underneath this carapace, this shell right here, there's gonna be like a little honeycomb kind of body structure. And if he actually died, there, will, there should be some meat in there. Whereas if he molted, all of that honeycomb will kind of be empty. Hopefully we can see that sometime. I, I wanna show you guys that. But uh, yeah, so this guy, he's hard, he has a hard shell. If I come under his claw right here, and I push really hard, you can kind of see that he feels that. I push really hard with my thumb, and that doesn't give it all. So that shows that he has a hard shell, which means on average there's about 25% of meat in his shell right here. Now this guy, he's already backed out of his shell. What happens after they back out of their shell is they're literally like jelly. I hope to show you guys this someday. I've seen it one time with a female and we were throwing her back and I thought about filming it afterwards, but they're literally like little, little jellyfish. They, they're just so helpless and defenseless. And so what they do is since they're like jelly and they haven't developed their hard shell yet, they look exactly like this kind of, but it's like all jelly and it's super soft. And so they bury themselves under the sand, I think for like up to a week, a few days to a week. Um, and then they come out of the sand slowly, I think, because they fast. So while they're fasting, they're not eating, of course, and they're just kind of trying to work on hardening that shell, which happens a little bit over time. It probably varies the different areas that you're in. Since we're here in Alaska, you know, these crabs are soft. They're on a different schedule than the crabs in Washington and Oregon. Uh, in California, I would imagine the water temperature, I think is about 42 degrees here right now in June. So he has come out of his shell. He was in the pot, so it looks like he's starting to come off of his fasting. When they come off of their fasting and their shells are getting hard, they're very hungry. Now I'm gonna do the same hard shell test under him. I'm gonna go under his claw. I know that he's soft, at least softer just by the coloring that he has. And he generally has, uh, well he definitely has under 25% of meat in his body. I'm gonna venture to say 21 to 22%, I don't know that. There's actually tests that they do in Washington State and I'm sure in Oregon and California as well, where they will do testing for the crabs and they will make sure that the crabs are at a certain percentage. I think it's 23 or 24%, don't quote me on that. I should know the answer. I was on the testing boat. I can't remember. It was six months ago. Anyways, I'll come right under here. I don't know if you can hear that. See him react? I don't know if you heard it, but you can kind of hear a crack. And he's definitely reacting. We don't want to sell these because they're not top quality crabs. He still has to grow, and then we can come back and catch him again. So, see you later, crabaroo. We throw him back into the deep. We're not that deep. And we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna hope that he lasts long enough to make it to market because he's our first crab. And like I said, you can just tell that he's getting ready to molt. He has kind of these darker uh, spots right here on his shell. You can see that some of it has been kind of bruised and damaged. Darker right here. But the leg meat is definitely full right here. And uh, he's gonna have this big whole area all to himself in our crab fish hold. So he's the first guy. That's it, here's a good one, here's a keeper. More than six and a half inches across. He's male, he has a hard body. 
and that's also what to look for when you're at the store because they're not supposed to take the hard the soft shells and if you buy a soft shell crab at least a dungeness crab you're gonna be very disappointed because inside there's so much room like this whole thing right now his claw is just full of meat his one arm right here this whole thing is just full of meat but if you get the soft shell crab they're still growing into their shell so you'll probably have you know half to you know two-thirds maybe of the meat in the shell and you want it busting at the seams which you pay for you know so here we go all right hope you guys like that now you know the difference male female crab soft shell hard shell six and a half inches here in alaska we got the first one down and we hope to catch more we're praying to the crab gods this is the crab dance crab dance